University teachers, trade union representatives, civil activists among others were present for this media briefing, the Centre for Society and Religion in Mathura. Vasanta Mudilige elaborated on his experiences while in detention. I was arrested by ASP Mahinda Viloarachi from the Paliagoda Special Police Unit. He arrested me on a warrant and took me to the Paliagoda Police. No explanation was given and I was hidden inside the Paliagoda Police. The next morning, before anyone was awake, I was put into a vehicle with my head covered and taken to the Enderamulla Police. The Enderamulla Police was empty when I was taken there. At the Enderamulla Police, the person identified as ASP Mahinda Viloarachi placed a pistol on the table pointed towards me and asked if I recall what happened to Vijay Veera and Vijay Kumaratunga. He said, that is what I deserved. However, given the situation, I would not be killed. He hinted to return in a few years by late post. Thereafter, I was put into another vehicle and taken in secret to the foreshore police dorm. We were taken to a basement room and covered in cloth and kept inside that dark room for hours without being questioned. At the Paliagoda police, the plan was devised to deny us the opportunity to meet the council, civil organization representatives and the Human Rights Commission. On the morning of the 21st, the police put us into another vehicle and took us to a car park close to the Navagamo Devalaya. There is a 10 feet drop to the isolated river. They took us there, handcuffed us, placed their weapons all around and started making phone calls. That officer said over the phone that we have arrived at the location. The vehicle was placed there arousing suspicions and a police officer assigned to the security of the Navagamo Devalaya came and inquired over the suspicious vehicle. The police officers saw this and wanted to chase away that inquiring officer. That was how they acted. A certain officer said that in the past, well-known underworld members were killed in this manner. They mentioned the name of Madush and said this is how they killed Madush. They said how they devised their plans when the DO period was ending. They said how they searched for areas with no CCTV coverage. They mentioned how they shot. They warned us not to create issues. I am stating this responsibly. We will take action against them. We were detained for 72 hours and were not produced to any court during that period. Our issue is this. We were arrested on warrants and until the detention order under the Prevention of Terrorism Act was signed, for a period of three days, the police was planning on how to kill us and how to force us to our knees. This question is to the IGP. If we were arrested for an investigation, the Navagamur car park, the foreshore police dorm basement, the Enderamulla police and the jungle behind it, are these investigation sites? When we were handed over to the Terrorist Investigation Division, it was ASP Ratnaika who jumped at the opportunity to take charge of these investigations. ASP Ratnaika from the TID is the main accused in the case filed over the murder of a person called Ami Suranga who was killed after being arrested. While there were officers like ASP Vilo Arachi from the Paliagoda Police and ASP Ratnaika from the TID, Many other police officers protected us. When we were taken away in secret to police stations, the police officers who were at those police stations protected us. That is why we are able to come forward and speak like this today. Vasanta Mudilige stressed that the struggle against oppression will continue. They have not ceased their oppression. They are drafting various laws on how they can continue with oppression. The Prevention of Terrorism Act is a barbaric act. It is one that needs to be abolished. We will make the necessary interventions to abolish such acts. Do not assume that the struggle is over because we were released. We will continue this struggle until the PTA is repealed and the political prisoners are released. In addition, we will continue with this struggle until all the brothers in the North and South who have been arrested under the PTA with bogus charges are released.